Hi students, as a part of Engineering Chemistry first unit, so today I am going to discuss about uh, the shapes of molecular orbitals. So before going to watch this particular video, I would like to recommend you to the watch the video which I have made on constructive and destructive interference. Because, so without the knowledge of that particular video, if you watch this video, you will get the marks, but you won't get the concept, right? So in order to get the concept, please click on the video, which is there in the description. So watch that and watch this particular video. Because in that particular video, I have clearly explained about what is the constructive interference, what is the destructive interference. And why the z-axis is considered as internuclear axis? And why when 2 TWO, 2 2 pz orbitals combines to form or overlaps to form only the sigma bond? Only the sigma bond. And why the energy associated with the pi 2 p x and pi 2 p y molecular orbital is one and same. So all this I have explained in that particular video, which is the basis to understand this particular video so precisely, without any ambiguity, without any confusion. Right. So in this particular video, you will come across the two signs, positive sign and negative sign. So positive sign means it is the upper phase of the lobe. Negative sign means lower phase of the lobe. So now let us discuss the shapes of molecular orbitals via constructive interference. So briefly, constructive interference means when the two waves are moving in the same direction, then the amplitude of the resulting wave increases. Amplitude of the resulting wave increases. So why I have clearly explained in that particular video. Right. So here we are talking about the wave means, we are talking about the, the electrons. Talking about the electrons. Right. Talking about the electrons. So now let us see the shapes of molecular orbitals via constructive interference. So let us take 1s atomic orbital is combining with another 1s atomic orbital. So this is 1s atomic orbital combining with 1s atomic orbital. So this is positive. And here it is positive because uh, in the constructive interference, uh, interference, the approach of the waves will be in the same phase. So positive means here it will be positive. And what is positive? Already I have explained to you. And uh, this is negative. 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 Right. Now, the overlapping is Overlapping is axial overlapping. Axial overlapping. Overlapping is axial overlapping. Now, as they are moving in the same direction, the amplitude of the resulting wave increases. Amplitude of the resulting wave increases. Increases. Now, both the positives are coming closer. So positive and uh, the negatives. So what is positive and negative are clearly explained. And during the agile overlapping, uh, which bond is being resulted, which molecular orbital is being resulted? Sigma. So this is sigma 1s. Sigma 1s. 
and why it is sigma 1s why it is not sigma star 1s what is the difference between sigma and sigma star sigma s bonding molecular orbital and sigma star s anti bonding molecular orbital and why this is bonding molecular orbital only because during the constructive interference bonding molecular orbitals are going to be formed and what is the reason i have explained that in that particular video so so as it is uh, just like ellipsoid are uh, oval in shape so definitely the number of nodal planes will be a zero so it is similar to s orbital which is spherical in shape so number of nodal plane is a zero nodal plane is a zero nodal plane is zero nodal plane is zero now what is nodal plane the plane in which the electron density is zero and we know very well that in the s orbital as it is spherical in shape the number of nodal planes present in the s orbital is zero now it resembles the s orbital that is the reason the number of nodal planes present in this particular molecular orbital which has been resulted by the combination of two 1s atomic orbital is zero is zero now next so we have to discuss about uh, we have to discuss about uh, the next uh, overlapping next overlapping so this is positive so if this is positive as it is a constructive interference both will move in the same direction positive positive so if this is a positive this is negative and this is negative and what is this overlapping this this overlapping is one and same that is axial overlapping only actual overlapping only actual overlapping only now what is it this particular uh, atomic orbital this particular atomic orbital is 2pz because z axis is the internuclear axis why already i have explained in that particular video so and always 2pz atomic orbitals results in the formation of sigma bond only sigma bond only so this is 2pz combining or overlapping with 2pz axial overlapping axial overlapping always results in the formation of um, which molecular orbital or which bond sigma sigma only now these two are coming moving together each other right that is towards each other so since uh, these positives are moving towards each other the amplitude of uh, this positive will be more will be more so positive is more amplitude of this positive is more positive is more so let us depict with the same ink without any confusion and what happens is these negative portion negative portion will condense or shrink or shrink condense because these are moving away so these are moving towards each other and this will shrink this will shrink so so this will be the situation this will shrink so the shrinking one is negative and negative and what is it sigma only it is not sigma star why it is not sigma star because it is a constructive interference sigma 2p z sigma 2p z and the number of nodal planes so similar to the s orbital so since it is spherical or oval in shape the number of nodal plane is one and same that is a zero nodal plane has zero is zero now let us take uh, another atomic orbital and already i have explained to you that whether it is uh, 2px or 2py the energy associated with the both this is one and same so we can consider 
टू पी एक्स और टू पी वाई सो टू पी एक्स और टू पी वाई सो आई एम टेकिंग टू पी एक्स यू कैन टेक टू पी वाई ऑल्सो इट इज नॉट मैंडेटरी दैट यू हेव टू टेक टू पी एक्स ओनली सो पॉजिटिव इफ इट इज पॉजिटिव सो दिस शुड बी पॉजिटिव बिकॉज इट इज कंस्ट्रक्टिव इंटरफियरेंस एज इट इज अ कंस्ट्रक्टिव इंटरफियरेंस बोथ विल मूव इन द सेम डायरेक्शन पॉजिटिव If one is positive, another one is negative. Negative. And what is the name of this? Let us give the name of this particular atomic orbital as two p x. If this is two p x, so this will be also two p x. So we can now take the two p y also because the energy associated with two p x and two p y is one and same. So and. Uh, this is not actual overlapping students this is lateral overlapping this is lateral overlap lateral overlap so lateral overlapping results in the formation of what results in the formation of pi bond so just it will twist this positive will twist and negative will twist so you will get the banana shape will get the banana shape so this is how it looks this is how it looks so this is positive and this is negative this is negative negative so positive and this is negative and this is not spherical in shape in between there is a gap so since there is a gap uh, so here we will not find that is will not find the electrons that is the electron density is zero so the number of nodal plane in this particular molecular orbital in this particular molecular orbital is one is one and what is the name of this students it is lateral overlapping it is resulted by the lateral overlapping of for two 2p x atomic orbital so it is pi it is pi so we'll get uh, the pi 2p x pi 2p x pi 2p x so finally let us take a uh, one dxy so dxy right plus same dxy so as it is a constructive interference if both are positive so this will be positive only positive and if one portion of uh, the lobe is positive it is negative if this is positive it is negative if this is positive negative if this is positive negative so the overlapping is one and same and what is the name of this dxy and this is also dxy 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 so dxy dxy and this is also the lateral overlapping so lateral overlapping results in the formation of uh, the same that is the pi bond is going to be resulted so both this combines because both are moving in the same direction so so the amplitude of this particular positive will increase so it will look like a banana and these two positive will shrink or condense they are attached to either side of the banana with the circles and this will these are moving in the same direction since these are moving in the same direction this will form a big banana and these two will attach to the banana as a condensed circles as a condensed circles so so this is how you will get so first let us not show the nodal plane so what is happening both these are moving in the same direction so you are going to get the banana shape and these two are moving in the same direction so you are going to get 
another banana right so since both are moving so what will happen amplitude has been increased so what is that it is positive 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 and these this one and this one will condense or shrink and uh, attach on either side as a circles either side as a circles so similarly negative negative are moving in the same direction so the banana shape has been formed and these two condensed to form the circles are condensed or shrink to form circles so positive so positive 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 only don't be confused positive positive next so the amplitude has been increased this is negative and negative this is oral oral is negative and negative is attached as a circle and negative has attached as a circle negative has attached as a circle and uh, so here there is a gap so we we, we cannot find uh, the electron density so the electron density is a zero in between these two so the number of nodal plane so there is one nodal plane nodal plane because here we cannot find uh, the electron density so the plane in which the electron density is zero is nothing but the nodal plane accordingly so we have one nodal plane one nodal plane and what is the name of the strength as it is formed by lateral overlapping it is pi it is pi and at is as it is formed by the constructive interference it is bonding so pi dx1 pi dx1 so this is about the, the shapes of molecular orbitals via constructive interference constructive interference so in the next video in the part 2 of this particular video i will give the shapes of uh, the molecular orbitals via destructive interference so thanks for watching this video students thank you